Um, this will be our mellow flow. So find a comfortable seat. Maybe stack a couple blocks up so you have a raised position for your hips. Relax your knees a bit. Sit up tall. As we settle in together, taking a breath in and out. And remembering as our mind starts to drift away. We can notice what it's starting to drift away to. And then come back to our breath. So as you follow along with me, just listen to my cues. Move your body accordingly to yourself and honoring how it feels. Every day is a little different. So just ease into the movements, into the poses. Move within the flows slowly, mindfully. Being aware of how your body feels. Taking the time to breathe in and out while you move and enjoy your practice. Sitting up tall, hands can be on your lap or your legs, wherever's comfortable. Let your right ear fall down towards your shoulder. As you follow along with me, maybe put on some good music for yourself. move according to my cues. One more breath, stretching the left side, letting your right ear fall down towards your right shoulder. Sitting up tall, take a breath, let your left ear fall down. We'll take a few breaths here, let your body settle in with the breath. As your mind may wander, Notice it and just take another breath. No judgment. Doesn't matter if you think a whole lot. Just noticing and breathing. Another breath, stretching the right side, letting your left ear fall down towards your left shoulder. Bring your head back up to neutral. Sit up tall, take a breath. Let your chin fall down towards your center, your heart, your chest. Breathe. Few more breaths, option to let your chin sway side to side. Feel that stretch on the back of your neck, sway side to side. Turn your head down neutral, sitting up tall, stack your head above your heart, above your hips, 
Relax your knees, belly button in, lower ribs in, lift your heart. Let your shoulder blades come together and slide down your back. Breathe in and out. Let's let our arms go out to T. Find a little bit higher than T, a little bit lower. And then that midway point right out from your shoulders. Cross your right arm over your left and gently hug it in. Extend your fingertips, palms facing towards the back. Gentle stretch on your shoulder. Maintain that long spine. Breathe. Release back out to T. Relax your shoulders a little bit higher than T. A little bit lower. Find that midway point. And left crosses over towards the right. Hug it in a bit. Fingertips out. Palms towards the back. Stretch coming across your left shoulder. Sitting up tall. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Please open back out to T, a little bit higher than T, a little bit lower, and let's lift all the way up, arms lift up high, palms touch, and bring it down towards your heart, sitting up tall, breathing in and out. Let's take our arms back out to T, a little bit higher, a little bit lower, back out center. Let your right palm come to your upper back, fingertips coming down your spine, right elbow up in the sky. If you lost any alignment in your spine, find it again, keep a long neck. Right hand comes over to meet the right elbow and maybe a little gentle stretch. Don't compromise any alignment. Breathe. As you unwind, come back to T. Relax your shoulders a little bit higher than T, a little bit lower. Back out to center. Let your left hand come to your upper back, fingertips down your spine. Left elbow up in the sky. Right hand comes up and over to gently give a little pressure for the stretch. Keep your belly button in, lower ribs in. Neck long. Breathe. Release the stretch, come back out to T, relax your shoulders a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Lift all the way up, arms up, palms touch, bring it down towards your heart and pause. Breathe. <clears throat> Let your arms come out to T again. Tilt over to your right till your right fingertips touch the earth. Look up at your left thumb and gently come over. Keep the left hip on the, on the ground or on your, um, your seat that you created with your prop. Relax your shoulders, stretch your left side. Use your strength, come up, come back to T, relax your shoulders. Tilt over to the left. Let your left fingertips touch. Right hand lifts up and over. 
Look where it's comfortable. Relax your shoulders. Keep your right hip down. Breathe. Use your strength, come back up to T, relax your shoulders, a little lift up, a little relax down in your T. Come all the way up, palms touch. This time open out wide, palms come together behind. Interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back. Lift your heart, open, breathe. And release your hands, come back up to the sky, palms touch and down towards your heart. Take a pause, take a breath, relax your shoulders. Hand down, hands down on your legs, wherever's comfortable, right ear down towards your shoulder. Breathe. up up to the top left ear down towards your shoulder breathe back to center sit up tall let your chin fall down towards your chest Take a deep breath in, fill up, exhale completely. Let your chin sway side to side. Another breath. And lift your head back on top of your heart, above your hips. Breathe, long spine, shoulders relaxed. Exhale your air. So we're going to remove the props and come on our hands and knees. right below the shoulders, knees right below the hips, everything lined up, squared up, strong back, belly button in, lower ribs in, long neck looking down, take a breath, relax the tops of your feet, belly button pulling in, Get some weight in your pointer finger and your thumbs. Lift your right leg back behind you. Lengthen it out. Flex the ankle. Long body as you breathe. As you exhale, bring your knee towards your elbow. Find a little crunch and take it back out straight. Breathe. Crunch it towards your elbow and take it back out. You can experiment and see if you can get to the other elbow. Alternating or just keep going for the right one. Maybe your knee finds your nose as you dome in. And then inhale, extend the leg out. Tapping the elbow towards or the knee towards the elbow or knee towards the nose. Crunching in with the belly each time. Let's go one more round. Exhale, crunch in. As you take the leg out, cross it over to the left, get the toes down, press the heel away, look over your left shoulder, stretching out the right side and breathe.
Look between the thumbs, lift the right leg, bend the right knee, lift the knee up towards the sky and make some circles. And make those circles go the other way. Bring that knee in towards the nose. Lift the spine up towards the sky, belly button in. Leg shoots out last time, and knee comes down. You can shift your hips side to side. Reset. Take a breath, belly button in, long spine, long neck. Keep the weight and the pointer fingers and the thumbs. Lift the left leg up into the sky. Flex the ankle. Take a breath. <clears throat> As you exhale, bring that knee in towards your elbow. And take it back out. Inhale. Crunching as your knee comes in. Exhale, or inhale as it comes out. Crunching, exhale as it comes in. Maybe crossing over to an opposite elbow. Inhale as you take it back and reset. Exhale as it comes in. Crunch, maybe knee to nose. Breathe, take it out. Let's do a couple more. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee or elbow to nose. Crunching in. Breathe. Crunch, <clears throat> breathe, and crunch. Take it out. Take it over to the right side. Toes down, heel reaches away. Look over your right shoulder, stretching the left side, and breathe. Back to neutral, lift that leg, keep it up. See if you can bring it in towards the nose. Last little crunch here. Take it out and bring the knee down. Shift it a little side to side. And let's take that knee back up and bend the knee. We forgot the circles up to the sky. Tabletop, shift the hips a little side to side, wiggle, stretch according to your body, knees wide, big toes together, child's pose. You can use the blocks to be underneath your forehead, take a breath. As you come up, wave through tabletop. Take your time, tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk up to your hands. If you want blocks underneath your hands, you can grab the blocks that you used so the floor is a little closer to you. Hang in your forward fold just for your exhale and chin to your chest, come all the way up. When you get up there, roll your shoulders back, lift your heart. Breathe in, stand tall, find your mountain pose, and breathe. Glance down at your toes, make sure they're pointed forward. Second toes lined up with your shin, the back of your heel. Your feet can be as wide as your hips or whatever distance feels good. Stack your 
uh, hips right above your heels, tuck your hips in, belly button in, lift your heart, relax your shoulders, strong legs supporting your body, lift the crown of your head up, take another breath, find your gaze point forward so you have a, a spot for balance. And on your inhale, take your arms up, palms touch overhead, arms by your ears, maybe a little back bend, and bend your knees, fold. Maybe the hands go back on those blocks, relax your head. On your inhale, flat back, lengthen out your spine. Fold, release, let your head fall. You can keep your hands on the block, step your right foot back, find a high lunge. Or a low runner style lunge rather. With your hands on blocks or maybe the floor. Breathe. If your left hand can come up to your knee, see how that feels. Left hand can come up to your shoulder. Maybe opening the shoulders, finding a twist. Lift that right heel back towards the back. Maybe the left arm reaches up. Find that runner's style lunge twist to the left. Keep the right hip up. Take a breath. If you have a lot of weight down in that right hand, maybe try and release some weight out of it. And bring that left hand down. If you find the block or the floor, take the right knee down. Take a breath. Keep the left knee right on top of the ankle. So if it starts to come over, just scoot the foot forward. You can keep your hands on your block, shifting your hips, straightening your left leg a little bit. It doesn't have to straighten all the way. If you get back pretty far, you can pick up the left toes, you can do that, going between bent knee and straight knee for the left side, shifting the hips back a little bit to adjust. Next time you're forward, find that pause, lift the right knee again, breathe, 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 and see about straightening the left knee with both legs up. Right leg stays straight, left knee bends and straightens. Shifting the hips a little bit. As it comes to a straight or straight-ish position, pause and see if you can find a little bit of a fold. Flat back lengthen in this pyramid and fold back down. Another round, lift up, flat back, align your hips to the forward point. Fold, exhale, right heel reaching for the ground. And take it up, bend the left knee, bend the right knee down towards the earth. Lift the heart, breathe. We're going back the way we came, so lift the right leg, belly button in, step forward, find that forward fold. Flat back, lengthen out the spine. Fold, release, let your head fall, take your time. Left foot steps back, find that runner style lunge, you can keep your hands on blocks. If your left hip starts to open a whole lot, square it up with the floor. Keep the right knee right on top of the ankle, even if you have to adjust. Breathe, stretch, enjoy, lengthen out the spine. See if you can get some weight out of your hands. We're gonna bring our right hand up to our right knee. Start to twist, right hand up to the right shoulder, stacking as you twist. And maybe lift the right arm up. Runner style lunge, legs. Keep the hips uh, strong, inner thigh squeezing for each other, back heel stretching. 
twist to the right. If you have a lot of weight in that left hand, maybe practice releasing some. And right hand will come down towards the block. Left knee will come down, lift the heart, take a breath. If the right knee starts to come over the right ankle, just scoot that foot forward a little bit. Just stretching here and breathing. You can always pause whenever you'd like. Otherwise, flowing with me, see about straightening the right leg and bending the right knee. So as you straighten, shifting back a little bit, you can adjust where you want the blocks, maybe the right toes, pop up and bending back into the right knee as your hips come forward for the stretch. So going between flowing bent knee, straight leg for the right side, just breathing in your movement. If you're going real fast, slow it down and move with your breath maybe pausing and taking an extra breath in a spot that feels good. As you get back up to the front, Adjust your hands, maybe still on blocks, pick the right knee, left knee up, find that runner style lunge, and see about straightening the right leg and bending back into it. So as you straighten, finding that pyramid, hips forward, both legs relatively straight, back heel reaching for the earth, and then bend into the front knee. And just shift a little bit. If you notice you have a lot of weight in your hands, see if you can use your core a little bit more, getting the full body to work for you with your breath, feeling the stretch with your breathing. When you get to that pyramid, straight legs, you can pause, let the back heel reach for the earth, hips forward, extra breath, and lift up halfway, flat back. Fold into the pyramid. Flat back, lengthen, best of your abilities. Fold, release, take another breath. And bend into the right leg and let the left knee come down. Inhale, exhale, enjoy the stretch here. Hands wherever's comfortable, on blocks or the floor. Lift up the left leg and step it forward. Forward fold, hang, exhale, flat back, breathe in, and fold, release. Chin to your chest, come all the way up, arms up, reach up, stand up tall, lean over to the right, Breathe back to center, over to the left. Breathe back to center, one more time, over to the right, stretch. Maybe palms together, arms by your ears. Breathe in, back to center, lean to the left. Maybe your palms come together, arms by your ears, stretch, breathe. Back up to center, cactus your arms, exhale your air, lift your heart. Bring your hands behind, interlace, maybe opposite from before. Roll the shoulders back, breathe in, lift the heart. Bend your knees and fold. When you get down there, you can keep your hands on your lower back. See about Squeezing the shoulder blades together, sliding them down, shoulders towards your hips, palms squeezing together, best of your abilities. You can keep your elbows bent, 
and get all that. Bend your knees, let your belly rest on your thighs, let your head relax. If you can straighten your elbows at all, maybe lift them away from your lower back. Pinkies up towards the front. Unwind, rinse out. You can keep your palms together, that's great. Take another breath. Bring your hands back down to your lower back. If you had them up, relax them back down. Naturally, let them fall. Flat back, lengthen out your spine. And fold, exhale. Chin to your chest, come all the way up. Arms up, reach up. Open out wide to T. A little bit higher, a little bit lower. All the way up, palms touch. And hands come down towards your heart. Take a moment, get yourself down to your seated position once again. This time just sit on the floor, maybe if you have a little uh, cushion for a blanket, you could sit up on that. But use your two blocks if you have them to go underneath your knees. So my suggestion, get yourself down there, bottoms of your feet together. Decide where you want your heels. You're sitting up on something, it'll feel a little nicer for your lower back. Let your knees relax. Slide those blocks till they meet your knees. And just let that be where you get your support. As you make your way there, massage the bottoms of your feet. So thumbs into the arches. Massage around, press, squeeze, move the, the muscles around, the energy around. Release any toxins hiding. So sit up tall, hard up. Roll your shoulders back, breathe in, breathe out. Let your right ear fall down towards your shoulder. Take a few breaths. On your next inhale, lift your head back up. See if you can sit up as tall as you can. Relax your knees. Let your left ear fall down towards your shoulder. Enjoy the relaxing exhales. Finding that tall spine, sit up tall. Let your chin fall down towards your chest. Breathe. If you have thoughts, notice them. And come back to your breath. Feel free to sway your chin. Another 
the breath. Inhale, exhale. Sit up tall, breathe in, lift that heart up to the sky. Gather your knees together, feet on the ground, hug over your legs. Take a breath, stretch accordingly. Get yourself down to your back body. Once you get down there, if you want to lift yourself back up and then mindfully get your spine to roll into the ground, you can take your time to do that. Arms can reach up overhead, toes reach the other way, full body stretch, roll the wrists and ankles. Breathe in and out. Hug those knees in towards the chest. Belly button in, tailbone down. Relax your shoulders, give yourself a massage. Lower back massage, circling, rocking as you press your lower back into the ground while hugging your knees in. Another breath or two. Remember, even if you can grab and hug a whole lot, it might feel nice just to release. Maybe just grab your knees and rock and see where you can target in your massaging without holding the knees so close. Just experimenting what feels good. I urge you to continue to stretch your back, stretch your legs, find your resting pose, take 10 minutes to completely let go, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me for our mellow flow. Namaste. Virtue.